Okay, I hope today's gonna go better than the previous uh, runs, but um, yeah, I definitely want to try out some, maybe some other weapons that I've kind of put to the side a bit. Notably the spear and also the hammer or the sword. Actually, I like the sword. You know what? I might play with the sword. I think I think the sword is just cool and it, it feels really good. It's like a classic weapon in roguelikes and they always feel good to play to me. So increase attack speed by 10% when you swap and cuts down enemies while moving force. You have like a dash and swiftly slashes through enemies with blade energy. I don't actually remember if that's good or not. I don't think it's that good. You just run shotgun, sword and like shotgun, sword. I've been running most of these weapons, honestly. What? Wait, what else is left? There's one more weapon up here. Oh, it's, is it from like defeating a boss or something? Maybe hammer when you swap. I don't know, hammer is so weird because I think the ability is kind of bad. Spin your hammer to strike enemy damage taken during the attack is, re is re reduced by half. I think the hammer is actually pretty bad. Yeah, it's slow. It's The ability is okay. Like, really not that exciting. I wonder, I wonder what I'd go for here. Attacks deal additional damage. It's not that good. Poison is fine. I could... I like the axe. I could go axe. We run. Are we doing a no shield run? <laughs> I kind of. I feel like I should take the shield. It's fine. Let's just do this. Whatever. I thought I was gonna go for a different loadout, but we've pretty much played about actually the bow. Maybe. How good is the bow? Arrows that bounce off walls deals half damage to bosses. Fires a stream of arrows towards the front. Hold the attack key. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. It gives me a long range weapon. You know what? Let's do this. This is a weird loadout, but maybe it's fine. We have our. Oh, we have the last thing finally. Nightmare Analyzer. That is good. Stop restores HP. No damage taken by 60%. Effective up to seven hits. What the? Wow. Shoot three projectiles instead. What? Oh. Damage of original projectile becomes 0.73 times the trigger. That's pretty good. Once per room, restore 10 when dodging enemy attacks with the, with the ash. Once per room? Eh. Attacks against two or more enemies become crits? No. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Amazing. Nice. So we, ha we actually have more upgrades. So I was wondering if this is it. It's going to be pretty hard past this difficulty because I think I can beat this difficulty, but I don't know about the next one. At the start of every run, gain 50 Nightmare Shards. That's pretty good. It's actually really good. Increase the efficiency of Nightmare Extractor. And every Boundary Shelter lets you use Nightmare Extractor once for free. Nightmare Extractor costs decrease. Okay. Amplifies nightmare Nightmares to increase extraction yield. Nightmare Shard earned increase. Okay, sure. It's a bunch of Nightmare Shard stuff, which is... Fine. Higher grade erosion chance. That's very important. Special erosion chance. Ooh. Captures a nightmare in advance of, of departure. At the start of every run, erodes one random weapon you carry. Sounds good. I have so much money I can just spend. I could probably buy most of this. Checks for multiple erosion possibilities. Weapons erosion gives you two options. Amazing. Increases double erosion by stacking nightmares. Double erosion is possible. Nice. Wow, this is all really, really cool and strong. Okay, can we upgrade one more thing? Yes, we can decrease the extraction cost, but uh, do I have money to pay for the relic? Yeah, extra attack is a yeah. Actually, wait, how much max HP is this? This is like eight times... 8 times 5? 40 max HP? That's not worth. That's not worth a 6%, I think. Well, 6 times 5, 30% attack. I think that's way better. But maybe it's not, because I'm mostly dying to damage, right? Well, no. No, I need damage. I need damage. Concussion, exploit weakness is fine. Yeah, I think... Yeah, let's go Nightmare. I think it's 300, right? Oh no, it's just 30. Oh, can't go back. Well, whatever. Immune to status effects. All right, let's do it. Let's go. 
Yeah, last two runs have been pretty dreadful. It happens. Sometimes you have bad days. It is what it is. Okay, it's extra attack speed per 5% of my current HP. It's kind of fine. The bow is pretty whack. <laughs> Anything to destroy? No. Did I miss a secret room? I, I'm always like kind of skeptical about my ability to spot those. Whoops, wrong direction. Oh. The accidental wall jump has screwed me over a few times, I feel like. This is no exception. Maybe I can beat the boss without taking damage if I'm really playing well today. We'll see. I gotta keep my 40 shield, essentially. That's gonna be the key factor here. That does a lot of damage. I did not expect that. Wait, that's... It's kind of more damage than I expected out of that. Interesting. Alright, secret room is there. And that is a big one right there. Should we try... Reforging the sword? We have not tried this yet. And I think the sword's going to be my main weapon here. So, quick dash. 20 SP and dashes forward while quickly slicing through enemies. So just the SP cost reduction. Penetration. Your second attack becomes a critical strike. That's more DPS. I think that's better. Ooh, what? Ooh. And it reaches further. Wait. Oh, and if I press the attack key, <laughs> I get to kind of pseudo dash. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, wait, that's good and bad. Oh, but I don't have to. If I don't press a movement key, it doesn't, it doesn't do it. Okay. Because I was going to say, against some bosses, you do not want to move around like that. Because otherwise you're just exposing yourself to really <laughs> awkward situations. Pretty cool weapon, now that I evolved it. Oh! Freaking shield's hiding. Hiding the archer. We do a little bit of shopping. Max HP by 40 and reduces movement speed by 8%. That's totally fine. I still don't understand this. When you have barrier, increase attack. Not good enough for that. And that is a no. Uh, junk food? Yeah. I think junk food is fine. Buy it. Might roll. Wait, isn't the bow swap actually good? It's like, it's crit chance, right? But it, I guess it's kind of weird with the sword with guaranteed crit, but... Not, yeah, I'm not swapping to the um, shotgun. The ideal swap... Yeah, the ideal swap direction is probably... Or order is bow into shotgun into... Yeah, bow into shotgun into sword, because I want to use the crit chance with a shotgun, and the shotgun can rotate into the sword for extra melee damage. actually not quite used to swapping still with the joystick. It, it still feels weird to me. Bloody Knuckle is amazing. Very good at stacking against bosses, which is really important. Damn, I really like this alternate form for the sword. Pretty cool. It's really awkward to control, though. I think I'm going to get lost in this dashing. 
I'm gonna like move forward at some points where I don't want to. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. I feel like I'm playing decently, but you know, <laughs> that can turn around in a second. Never know. Hmm. I don't like this. I like they can naturally move. I, basically, I just have to let go of the joystick at the right time. Shit. That's unfortunate. That's... Yeah, that's minus 17 barrier. Whoops. Did not have the parry ready there. Alright, we have a total of 63 barrier. The odds of me beating this without taking damage are like 50-50 probably with 60. Dragon Hatchling, and here's Sagna's Fedora. Dash once more while dashing. What the hell? I think Hatchling is decent. Also more damage. And more damage is good. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna start... I kinda wanna swap to the bow first. And I'll swap immediately to shotgun, and then shoot two, two rounds. Ult, but I'm, I forgot to do it, so I'll have to wait a little bit. Damn it, I missed. Okay, well, that's fine. Shit. Damn it, I misclicked the ult, but I keep doing that. I do that all the time, actually. Okay, well, good uh, good double pairs. We did it. Okay, actually, this is way easier than I expected. But sometimes I just play poorly and I just get wrecked. That was fine. Took one instance of damage. We finally get to use that machine. 10 max HP for SP energy drink. Increase recharge rate by per pond. That's worth it. I will always take that, I think. But you can take both. I don't think energy drink is that good. I don't think I don't think it's worth 10 max HP. Like it's fine. I don't know, it's fine, but the sword ability is not like super important. The well actually I don't know, let's see. 300? Eh, it's not too bad. What about this? It's like 200 maybe. 240. Hmm. Depends on crit, right? Alright, let's erode that. Attack speed. Wait, what? Attack. Wait, yeah. Oh yeah, one's already already eroded. SP damage, okay. Attack, attack speed. I guess it's just attack. Overload attack speed. Sure. Regular attack speed or SP damage? Hmm. Maybe... Maybe attack speed. Okay, attack. Oh, uh, I don't know. Like, I still have the apple. That's the only thing that's making me rethink this, because... If I remember to... You, there's so much better than this. That's the problem. If I get this and I find another active item, it's just way better. Like, the turtle. I'm gonna be really sad. Nightmare Minion is really good, but increased stun and status effect durations on player is very bad. But Nightmare Minion is insane, so... You know what? I'll take it. Hopefully it doesn't screw me. I think most bosses can stun you. If I play perfectly, it's fine, but... Man, this could really end the run. But Nightmare Minion is so much damage over time, I think. It's probably worth it. I'm trading my damage taken versus my opponent's damage taken. Gems or bird is probably fine. I've, no I've never taken that, actually. Yeah, we could go for like a pawn build. Oops. And yeah, there's Nightmare Minion doing work there. Let's 
sword is really good, actually. Wow. It's kind of unbelievable how good this weapon feels. Yeah, it's always this, right? This will give me alternate weapons, I think. I hate the random thing. Your second attack becomes a crit. Oh, it's the same one, basically. Oh, yeah, it's the same one, but different. So attack speed by 12% over attack speed. So it's the same weapon, but more attack speed. <laughs> we take that. Shotgun gem recharge rate. I think that's pretty important. Wow. Whoa, that is jackpot. Wait, can I run double weapon? Oh, I can't. I was going to say. This is overload attack speed or... It's my current gem recharge. Gem recharge 20%. Mm. I think gem recharge is really important. But overload attack speed by 20% is a lot. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Oh, whoops. Well. Oh. Ah, whatever. I was hesitating anyways. I, I don't know. I, I forgot that was not equipped. <laughs> I thought that would hit me. Damn, this sword is so cool. I think if you're really good with this weapon, it's probably super insane. It's already good for me, and I'm not even good at using it. I was able to juke enemies while attacking, which is good. Almost took damage there. Stop early. 7% chance to deal additional damage and bleed. I don't hate that. Unharmed drops additional gold relative to Sage. I think that's actually good. Doesn't that count barrier? Where I'm not harmed if I take damage to my barrier. It's probably worth it. I got 40 barrier. I'm playing decently. 20% chance. Th these are all good. I will always buy all these, I think. Is there? Oh, this is a good machine, right? That's the machine you put one in, you get one out. Now, does this actually increase my max HP while it's gone? Or like, is it only while I'm holding this or? Immune to status effects. Wait a minute. This is not a status effect. Right? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So it's only stun. Oh, that's pretty good then. So we have some like kind of compensation for the extra duration on the status effects. Not that I even know which bosses have status effects other than the poison from the fourth boss. This weapon's so cool. You definitely see like this as a main weapon for sure. And Nightmare Minion's really good at supporting. Ooh. Refires a reinforced round when you attack after pay. Uh, no, I don't like that. No. I like the re reinforced round on second on second hit. Like that's the really good one. Projectile range. Sure, I mean. How much further is that? That's eh, pretty decent, but I'm not really... No, it's relevant. I'm not really playing range, but I will eventually. Oh, whoa. Oh, the invulnerability screwed me so hard. Oh, oh, I thought that would hit me. Damn, that invulnerability exact at that moment was so bad. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, what? It didn't explode? Oh, see, that's... Yep, okay, this is bad. This is what I was afraid of. Dashing back into an attack. Yeah, that shook me, actually. <laughs> Once something bad happens, I feel like it's hard to recover immediately. At least for me. Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I just gotta chill out for a second. I should just hold on to the sword. It's the one I'm the most uh, with the most DPS, so as long as I play Mart here, I should be fine. Okay. A little bit of extra gold there. Secret room. Fountain. 
Can I just drink that now? Is there... Yeah, I can. Go up, back into shop. Need both of these. Wait, could I not have bought more of that earlier? Maybe. Alright. Good setup. Uh, do we have good damage? Yeah, kind of. The guaranteed crit helps a lot. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so we want to start on bow. I do need to swap a little bit more. I think we have decent recharge rate. Good. Go back into shotgun here. Oh, I should go back into bow, but eh. yeah, I should have gone back into bow. Guess I will here. Okay, that was relatively clean, actually. Ooh, the knuckles are really good with the sword ult because it attacks so fast. I stacked 30. I saw that above my health bar. All right, pretty clean. I took one instance of damage, so we're not going to get the, the thing, but it's okay. Now this is what I need, and this is also good. When entering a room, vision... Ooh, I don't like that. I do not like that. That's really hard against bosses. I'll just take that. I think we're keeping this until the end of the game. It's pretty good. Actually, it's not It's not that good, actually. Because, well... I don't know. It depends on my base crit chance, right? Because at some point it's redundant to have too much crit chance. Wow, terrible. What the? Excuse me, what? I, I did not expect that. <laughs> that. That was really bad. That's embarrassingly bad. I actually think Apple is one of the best items you could have until the end. Like, you can carry that until the last room. You're probably, probably doing good. At least the sword is really good at dodging the wizard. Because you're dashing already innately. Oh! Okay. A little bit of gold. Did I take damage in that room? I don't think so. I will probably do this. Should I do it now? Probably. Yeah, I'll come back. I do want to take some damage because of the natural regen. Oh, the, the extra dashing on the sword is so, so good for that situation. Very good. So is, it's really good there too. Yeah, damn, this weapon is crazy. So good. See how good the ability is with the crit. Oh shit, I didn't kill it. Okay, 300, that's great. Well, actually it's fine. Did it crit? I think it did too, yeah. Oh no. That sucks. Oh no, I bonked on this. I feel like bonking against walls is like the classic way you take damage in this game. That's such a classic. <laughs> Two percent chance to execute? No. Max HP and damage taken? Absolutely not. Side knockbacks? I still don't know what this is. Yeah, I still don't know what this is. Um, maybe this counts as like stun, kind of. I don't think I'm gonna take that. Cannon dog. Nope. Decrease gravity is a no. Okay, that's these are all bad. Damn. 
What's the um the pet set? I need four? Four or three? I already have three, so it's gotta be four then. Oh shit. Damn. Oh my god, in the stun duration. <laughs> Holy. I was not paying attention to that guy. Damn. Okay, maybe it was correct for me to not trade my HP that much. <laughs> Yeah, weapon swap, wind shear is fine. I'll go fountain now. Well, maybe not. I could get some HP recovery from shop if I roll. Probably will end up rolling. Oh, I should have teleported. Whoops. Didn't see that. I'm blind. What the? No, what the hell am I doing? Telling you, the run can just change in a second. <laughs> you never know what I'm gonna pull out of my ass here with the damage taken plays. Oh, there was a secret room there. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, I didn't see that. But I can't dash if there's a shield. I might have to start playing range here. Oh yeah, I get I got bonked by the shield. That's why I got screwed. So I was trying to dash past the shield and I kept bonking against it. It would not allow me to dash through. Whoops, I almost went in. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, there's a secret room down here. Nice. In a new secret room, okay. It's kind of weird to get an item like that this late, or like, I guess it's middle of the run. It's not too late, but definitely weird. Okay, the SP attack's starting to do good damage. All right, pretty good. Last bit of shopping, and then we are out. Oh wait, I probably should grab the heal. Took a little bit too much damage. Oh, this is insane. Yeah, this is crazy. Ooh, the meat cube though. Oh, meat cube is really, really, really good. I'm gonna take it. Oh, I wish I could buy both. I'm so sad. Heck is extra spicy as well. All right, we got best pawns. Yeah, meat cube extra size is nonsense. It blocks projectiles. It's super good. Okay, here we go. Whoops, I mistimed that, of course. And I'm getting stunned so long, too. Too bad. I might have to use the apple here. I probably do. I didn't play that very well. A little bit flustered by the time I got hit and then I couldn't parry. On time. Shit, I shouldn't dodge that way. That's just a mistake. Oh shit, this phase is so bad for my ults. I should never ult here. What the hell am I doing? Oh wait, what? Wait, what? Excuse me, what the hell kind of damage was that? <laughs> wait a minute. This is insane. Okay, I did not go here, I forgot. 
Accept your proposal. Regarding the council, you can ignore them. They're nothing but puppets of the mayor. As long as we have the mayor under our control, the army will stay put. You're bringing an end to the civil war, I suppose, finally. About humans, I'll try to capture as many as possible. But I can't guarantee the number. Flesh is built soft, so pushing it will burst them. Day of reckoning is near. I'll contact you again soon enough. S. Hill. Pill's okay. Oh, this is fine. Yeah. Increase weapon swap duration by two seconds. Weapon swaps grants bu swap buffs to all... No, of all unequipped weapons. Mutations have evolved some enemies to stronger than others. So, if I swap from shotgun to this, it'll give me 20% crit chance and melee damage. If I swap from this to bow, it gives it melee damage and attack speed. Eh. I think this is better. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that. Come on. Give me something good. Or not. Right, we still have our three revives. Sword is extremely good at fighting these off. Oh, damn, I took damage from that? The angle is so nasty, actually. I think it's because the hitbox for those small enemies is so weird. Oh, what? Oh, oh, it was this guy. Ah, oh, god damn, I did not see him. I took so much damage from that. I was just not paying attention to that floor. And I dashed right into that. See, that's the problem. I start getting too comfortable with the sword. I have to heal. Actually, I can't. Well, I should. I was going to say, I could find some regen, but... Oh, well, that was a terrible spot. At least I got out of it in time. Oh, whoa. Oh, I had no SP. I was like, okay, surely I'm going to dash through that. <laughs> Damn it. I only get SP on swap. This is not good. I got to I gotta chill for a second. Ooh, okay. Should be fine. I just need to play better. It's fine. Okay, this is a... This enemy is a problem. I just gotta kill it with a laser. Good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Alright, slow and steady. Just don't choke. We're in a good spot. The damage is really high, so all I have to do is not take damage. Okay, we're fine. Oh shit, what the hell? Why did it start there? Oh my god, what the hell? That was a disaster. I mean, so, there were so many things happening at the same time, I could not track it. Ninety-five HP. I need to find a shop.
What, it spawned another one? What the? The meat. The meat is so good, it ate that. Free money, I'll take it. Oh, I hate this guy. That guy is insane. I don't know how to I don't know how to beat him actually. Can I parry that? Shit, I couldn't dodge that. Okay, that's minus one revive. That's yeah, that's my natural revive. Damn it. That spin guy, I don't know how to beat him. I don't know if you can parry it or not. I think I parried it once one time, but I tried there. Maybe I just couldn't get it out. I hate that guy. I should have just stayed further away. Shit. Okay, five percent for each one. That's big. Oh, nice. Amazing, actually. I shouldn't have taken that. I should have waited. In case I get some more regen. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Damn it. I hate when I things just happen a little bit out of my field of vision. Oh, what the? I didn't see it. I forgot about those guys. I was like, where is everybody? Wait, isn't this... Wait, how does this interact with the revives? I mean, it's obviously good, right? It's just all upside, unless it's unless this kills me through revive, but... I mean, sure, I'll lose the run to it. If it does do that, though, that's really bad game design, and that would piss me off, actually, but, eh. Swapping it to itself is fine. What the hell? I mean, that's not even bad, but... Like, it's not. The issue with this is that it's a little bit late. No, it's, it's pretty late. I don't know if I take that. I guess it would be good with the alarm clock. We have no more rooms left here. I don't know. That's not great, I think. Self swap, I would say, is probably bad. I'll take latent power, I think. I'm not using my SP attacks with the sword. Man, probably just heal. Is it, yeah, it's heal and save, right? These are all... I mean, it could take this, just hope for the best. I think this is, like, kind of fine. I wouldn't take that. It's either this or nothing. Um, I don't hate this. I think it's okay. Chill. Since I have additional stun time, I think it's probably better for me to have some sort of defense like that. Alright, let's go to bow, then swap to shotgun again. I have to swap more. I'm not swapping enough against bosses, I think. He's just in a weird spot. I can't, I couldn't parry. Like, I was inside his body and then he still hit me. This is terrible. I'm pissed. I should have been able to parry that. I was just in the wrong spot. Same thing there. I'm like on him, so it's just not working. What? I couldn't double jump?
Okay, so it did work the way I thought. Damn it, I'm playing terribly. Holy shit. The stun- oh, the stun direction is really bad against this boss. Yeah, one more revive. That's it. That's actually it right there. Oh, that's subdued. Oh, I did not realize that was subdued. Ah, oh, shit. I couldn't get out of that. My, oof, that was not good. I don't know what the hell happened there, honestly. It was just the early game. Yeah, the early fight where I was in his body, I tried to parry, and then I realized it wouldn't connect, and the, the attack hit me. So I was like, <laughs> I moved a little bit out of the way to try to parry it, but I just got hit instead of parrying. So it was like parrying in his body where the attack wasn't, and then I moved into the attack, and then I just got... Like, after getting hit twice, I was, like, off my rhythm. I could not parry anymore. That's the problem. Oh, man. Hopefully that won't happen in the last boss. That was... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Lightning that randomly strikes. Normal enemies ignore hit stops and knockbacks. Doesn't really help me, but... It's not bad. I think this is good. Slot machine is good. I'll take slot machine. Wait, does it work on... Come on. I have no more revives. But I'll still take 25 max HP, it is what it is. Alright. Gotta play perfectly here. I need to save as much HP as possible. It's good at least. It's a good start. <laughs> I'm just going to play as safe as possible. I'm so close to dead here. We take that. Oh, room must be cleared first. I did not know that, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the... I'm alive. I guess I have the invulnerability, worst case. Yeah, maybe I should play more aggressively. I don't know. I have the invulnerability. What the? What the hell was that? I'm sad. What, what hit me? What hit me? Wait, I'm so confused. What the hell hit me? Shit. Was it a guy that got up? I think it was, right? There's no there's no way anything else would have hit me there. Holy, I'm so scared. Oh, no. No, not this guy. Okay, I need to. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, unfortunate. I can't. I can't be dead in seven seconds. Okay, verdict. If I didn't. Okay, it's 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 hard, right? Because you, I have to play. You get punished super hard in this game for making like one sequence of misplays, and that's basically that just ended the run. I mean, 
if I played the fourth boss as well as I played the previous bosses, um, we would have been fine. But uh, because I lost two of my revives there when I should have lost zero, realistically. Uh. Well, I guess I would have lost a revive. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't have lost a revive on the... On that floor. Since uh, I would have had more HP, probably. Ah, damn. Okay, anyways. Good run. I can be, like, kind of satisfied with that. It went, it went really well until it didn't... But at least I was I was playing pretty well early, so that's all that matters. There's still it'll happen. Everything has to line up, basically. <sighs> the damage was like because the damage on the third boss second phase was pretty high, right? And I didn't expect it to be that low on the second phase when I ulted. I was like expecting a little bit more damage, but it would didn't really. So I guess that boss is like really tanky, right? Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And uh, yeah.